Hey everyone, welcome back to Get Ready With Me Louise. So today I thought that I would redo the look, this look here, that I did for the 4th of July because we had like a little, I don't know which, way, I guess like a get together, just family, you know, and uh, we set off fireworks and stuff like that, but I wanted it to be bright and colorful and, you know, summery. Anyway, so the palette I chose to use was the Glam Light and Michaela palette part one. Which I just, I really do like this palette because you do have your mix of neutrals and then you got your mix of colors. So you pretty much have everything in this palette. Maybe not necessarily all the colors that I like because I'm more of a pinky, you know, type of person, but close enough, you know what I mean? So let's go ahead and get started. The first shade I'm going to go into is Handy, which is a yellow, a bright yellow. And actually, I've really been liking yellow ever since I did that uh, review on that Busy Art palette. There was just something about that yellow that just did it for me, you know? And this is the same way. This yellow builds nicely. It's, it's a It's a yellow true yellow and hey, those are hard to find and you know because it may look yellow in the palette a true bright yellow but they fade almost or you can't build it up it's always something though you know but with the glam light shadows they work perfectly like you're gonna you can build it or you can you know have it light it just really depends on you know what you want out of that shade but I built it up pretty good because I did want it you know I wanted it to be seen but look at that I mean it just built so nicely and blends out and I'm going to take it all the way over to my inner corner even And again, my eyes are hooded, so it really does challenge me, especially as we get older. They get more and more hooded and wrinkly, but the Glam Light shadows work pretty well, to be honest with you, even with my aging skin. Alright, I think I got that yellow where I want it. I can always go back into it so it's not that big of a deal. The next shade we're going to go into is Iconic. And with this one, what I've done was I kind of patted it one first where I want it. Like I laid it down almost. And then I went into blending it out once I got it laid down where I wanted it because my eyes are just different one's more downturned than the other one's more hooded than the other so it really does cause some problems when I'm going you know one eye at a time but with the glam light shadows it's nice because you can like sort of pat them in almost where you want them and then go back and blend and it's just so pretty and you can also build it up that way also which I like a lot and it helps with fallout like I don't get as much fallout either if I pat it in and blend And it gets me to the color I, I kind of need faster, to be honest with you also. But being that I'm not a makeup artist, you know, I don't know all the 
little tricks and, and all that tips. So I just kind of have to just go off of what my own eye is doing and hope for the best in a sense. Okay, so I did that. Then I decided to take the color Buffalo Chicken. And we're going to run it under the lower lash line. I really tried to put as many colors as I possibly could in here. <laughs> in this eye look. That was kind of like bright and summery and stuff and fun. Because, you know, it was supposed to be a fun day, so I thought, why not create a fun look? Of course, it, it actually, it wasn't that bad as far as heat went. But, man, today it is warm. It is so hot here. Okay, so I think I got that where I want it. Then I took the shade Frisky, and I just like barely put that right right up on my lash line, and it's a purple. But I put it really close to my lash line as possible. That way you could still see the orange shade on the bottom, but yet this lined my um lash line you know better and it's i think this purple and orange went really well together too it's just really hard to get up under there when My eyes are so old. Okay, so we're going to go back into the buffalo chicken. Because, I, like I said, I don't want to lose that orange at all. Um, I guess, it, yeah, it's an orange. I was going to say it's more like a salmon, but it's not. It's in a, the name kind of says it all, really, in all honesty. Okay, yeah, so far so good. So then I took the shade... Mass hole, and I tapped it on the tip of my brush, and I literally just tapped where I wanted that shade. I moved it very slowly because, again, this is a darker shade. And I'm not a makeup artist, by no means. So we all know how darker shades can go with me. So we're going to go very slow and build it up. But I will say that I love this formula for this reason. It's like tap and blend, tap and blend. Because obviously wherever you lay your brush down first, that's where most of the pigment's going to be. That just is what it is with any shade really. But if you kind of tap it where you want it, very soft and light, it kind of disperses it more evenly for you. And it makes it so much easier to blend. And now, it does take a lot of time to blend, though. But if you're okay with that, 
then you'll be alright, you know what I mean? Keep starting over until we build it up to the same depth as that other side over there. So you can see it took me a second to get it built up. Because I knew that with this one false move and I was going to lose these, the, like the pink color and stuff. And I didn't want to do that, but yet I did want to, this shade in there, because it's such a pretty color. And you can see that, well, I hope you can see that. Let me tilt my head back a little bit, maybe like that. Okay. You can see that it does blend nicely, you know what I mean, across my eye. It's just a lot of work. But that's going to be any eyeshadow, to be honest with you. But it's not like a lot a lot of work you know what I mean like it's not gonna take you all day but it's gonna take you some time you know and it's also a lot of uh, back and forth back and forth because like even though I'm building that up. I don't want to lose that pink shade. So now I got to go back into that pink again. I just tapped it onto the tip and then I'm going to tap it on and blend. Like that. But honestly, my favorite part about all of this is that it creates other shades as you're like blending you know what I mean so yeah I have the yellow and the pink down but you can almost see a, a hint of like a light orangish light orange shade and then where the blue and the uh, pink come together it's almost like a purpley shade and, and again, obviously, you combine these shades, you're going to get like a purple shade, you know. You're going to get an orange shade. But it's not a muddy, you know, it's not muddy. And that's what I like about Glam Light Shadows. They don't muddy up on themselves. I mean, I guess if you mix certain shades, they would. But these particular shades I'm mixing are not doing that and they just build nicely on top of each other so there's no problem too that's as dark as the other side though. Let me just maybe add a little more blue.
Here we go. Okay. I think I got it now. Maybe. We'll hope, huh? I think I do, though. Alright. Then, my favorite shade out of this palette. I'm going to spray my brush. And we're going to go into the shade Manifest. And I really like this shade. It is just so... So pretty. Alright, ready? Here we go. Okay. It's a light, light purple silver shade. I mean, all these shades in here are very metallic. And I, that's another reason why I do like Glam White's uh, formula. Because they're super metallic. I usually wet a brush. You can use your uh, finger to apply it. But, like, it's just not my, my thing. But, like, look at that. I mean, it's just so metallic so pretty and I cannot wait I purchased the part 2 collection and I cannot wait for it to get here I'm so excited because some of the metallic uh, colors that I've seen in that palette I think are going to be amazing alright there we go Yes. then I took the shade Nas and I just put that in my inner corner to brighten that up I didn't wet this shade though I didn't feel like I really needed to to be honest but I also felt like it went really good with this look I mean, see how that just brightened that inner corner so much and again, if you wanted more of a boom in your face, you can definitely wet it and get that for sure. And I didn't get any fallout, thank goodness, uh, using these shades. I mean, obviously you could. So do be careful as far as that goes. Just going to go back into that yellow shade. Curl the lashes. Then for the top lash line, I decided to go with my Gucci mascara today. Okay, I'm not going to be able to use that mirror. Too far away. That mirror is just too far away. Did you all have a good 4th of July? Hope everybody stayed safe. Got to visit with family or friends. We laid off a couple fireworks. It wasn't bad. It was a good time. Kids loved it, of course. Some of the fireworks were really pretty. It's funny, though, with the fireworks. I do find every time, too, that when the ones I think are going to be the best end up not you know what I mean the ones you think all oh, are going to be nothing are the prettiest I don't know if you all 
ever experienced that, but we sure did this year for sure. The ones I thought were going to be like, oh yeah, that's going to be really good. Nah. Really wasn't worth it. But then the ones that were kind of, almost the cheaper ones, were really good. Messed up. What a surprise there. We'll let it dry and get it in a minute. And then for bottom lashes, I went in with my MAC. Can't really go wrong there. I laid that on my bottom. And you know the other thing is, is actually that I did wear this shadow in a more different makeup look. I used the MAC Paint Pot, and I can act tell you this, I used the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Joker, and I put this shadow on at like say 9, no, it was more like 11 a.m. by the time I got done. And I set my face with the Charlotte Tilbury um, setting spray, which I don't know where I put that right now, but I set my face with it, and I didn't get home until probably after one. I know it's midnight. I know it's after midnight for sure. So in between midnight and one, and I went to take off my makeup. And I realized that my eye look looked just as good as when I put it on. Like, it held through the sweat. Really, most of my makeup, other than my lipstick, even my blush lasted, to be honest with you. But, like, I was really shocked at the eyeshadow, though. Because, you know, sometimes you have flakies. Or sometimes you have, um, like, mascara, even, after that long of a day. And nothing nothing was out of place I was like whoa so I don't know if it would be the shadow well I mean the shadow is good obviously but I don't know if it's the shadow or the fact that I locked it in with that um Charlotte Tilbury air flat air brush whatever that is or what but I mean I, I was really, really shocked. Like, it was really shocking to me at how long and how good that still looked. Let me put a little bit of gloss. And I've been really liking these. Makeup by Mario, the lip clumping. This one here is an ap apricot, apricot glow. And I really like it. But anyway, this is the final eye look. Um, they're pretty much close to the same, I think, as we're going to get them, so, that just is what it is. It's, it's really hard to try to get both eyes the same when you do one eye first, you know what I mean? And I think that's the other thing, where I did both eyes at the same time, it really, like, was more perf, more, it's not very perfect, but m more accurate, you know what I mean? But overall, I mean, I think I did pretty good at recreating it. And the fact that that lasted that long, y'all, I'm telling you, that, that was nice. That was a nice surprise for me when I went to take off my makeup. But that is all I have for you today. I hope you all had a great 4th of July. I hope that you enjoyed this look. Um, 
Maybe you can recreate it. Maybe you have this palette or have colors like this palette in your collection. Um, I can't wait for part two. I'm excited for it. And I guess I'll see you on my next one. And until then, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.